Aha, I figured it out. <laughs> hey, everybody. Um, so, let me back up. Y'all know I've been using my phone to record videos. And I feel like an old person because I'm just now learning how to use my webcam. <laughs> Not that I couldn't figure it out. I just, it's just the phone was just so convenient for me to use. But um, this is so much better. I should have did this years ago. Anyway, let's get into it. Um, so my last video I updated, I believe it was maybe two day symptoms. Excuse me, my back hurts. Um, it was two day symptoms after my five day FET. I've already had my beta. I'm going to go through the symptoms from, not necessarily in order, but just all together. My symptoms from three days past five day transfer all the way to today. Today makes About 14, about 15, 16 days past transfer. Um, anyways, let's get into it. <coughs> My symptoms have been the dull, achy back pains, just like I have with Kennedy. The only difference is with Kennedy, they were more subtle. This time, I like, I feel. I believe with Kennedy, it was more, am I going crazy or is that something that I'm really feeling? This time, I know I'm not going crazy and I, it, it's what I'm feeling because it, it hurt. Well, I don't want to say it hurts, so I don't want to scare anybody um, who may be going through this for the first time. It doesn't hurt. It's just it's more annoying and you can really feel it. Cramping, not so much. I felt little twinges. Maybe, I would say total, maybe three or four twinges altogether. Um, I have, the cramps have gotten a little stronger, I would say maybe two to three days ago, but they stopped. That's done. Um, but the back pains, I still feel those. It's not as severe as it was in the beginning, and it's not as frequent. Like right now, I feel the back pains, but it doesn't really hurt me. It doesn't bother me. It was just like, man, let me sit down. My back is really killing me. It was more of the period type of symptom. Um, it was like my aunt Flo was coming. But I've been hungry. With Kennedy, I feel the hunger pains. They were there, but they weren't as severe as they are now. With Kennedy, I was hungry every three to four hours. It wasn't as strong. I'll say every every two to three hours with Kennedy, and it wasn't as strong. This time, I'm, I'm literally hungry every two hours, about every hour and a half to two hours, and I feel it, and I'm hungry, I'm starving, it's like I have not had a drop of food in my belly all day. That's how I feel when I'm hungry. That portion did not come with Kennedy until later on in the pregnancy. This time, I feel it immediately. Uh, my head hurts. Not now. I don't really feel my head hurting as much as I did in the beginning. I would say around day three, four, and five, I was getting lightheaded and a little bit of dizziness, but I just sat down. I had to sit down. There was no way that um, in the, the beginning, there was no way I could really just like walk around. And it would only last for maybe three minutes. It wasn't very long. Um, if I didn't eat right away, it would come right back. I've been emotional, way more emotional than I was with Kennedy, like way more. My poor husband can't tell me anything because I will cry. <laughs> I feel so bad. Uh, the other day he said, um, he was asking me something about eating and I just started crying. And I don't know what happened. <laughs> Y'all yeah, feel so bad because it's just like, you know, oh, that's what it was. So we had we had got done eating, and um, he said, "You want me to do the kitchen, or do you want to do it, or something to that effect?" And 
Um, I said, no, you can go ahead and do it because I'm tired. And he's just like, uh-huh, yeah, you're tired. And I just started crying, like, out of nowhere. I don't know what's wrong with me, people. Um, so, I don't know. And he's just playing around with it. I don't, I don't know what's wrong with me. I can watch something on TV and it's just, my emotions will go from zero to ten and then my eyes will start filling up and the tears will start flowing. My dreams have been worse than with Kennedy. Kennedy, my dreams with Kennedy didn't really, if I remember correctly, they didn't start this soon in pregnancy and they didn't last that long. It wasn't as frequent as what I'm trying to say. These is like every night I'm dreaming about food, I'm dreaming about running around, um, laughing uncontrollably to where I pass out, like it's just crazy stuff, but the food has been my number one dream. I had a dream about some barbecue ribs, and they were delicious. I could taste the ribs on my tongue, um, literally, and smell it. Oh, it was so good. <laughs> um, my beta was Thursday. I was supposed to take my second beta today, but everybody's closed because it's still New Year's. My beta was 6.53 on Thursday. I'm officially pregnant. We don't know if it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, or eight kids in there. <laughs> Praying for twins. I'm thinking it's twins. Kennedy's numbers weren't as high. Um, for those of you who have been following me from the beginning, you guys know I didn't really get my beta numbers. I did go finally um, went online and I was able to log in to the lab for thing. And Kennedy's numbers were like one. 20 something. Um, or was it 152? I think it was like 152. Whatever. She was in the 100s. It wasn't really high. And I didn't take a trigger shot. Um, didn't take a trigger shot this time or last time. And I know sometimes when you take a trigger shot, since it sends out the HCG hormone, your beta numbers can come back high, even if it's a singleton. Um, or really high if it's just twins, like higher than the normal twins. Um, but there have been people that have really high numbers, I believe, without the trigger shot that still only have a single ten. Not sure how high, but they, I did do a little research and um, online was saying something about six, had 600, what was it, 600? It said something about 600. For 400, you can consider it twins. Probably having multiple. Uh, you're more than likely to be having multiple than not, is what it says. So it's still not really confirmed. And um, I had a friend who got her ultrasound same day as her first beta, so she knew, and her numbers were really, really high. So I don't know, but my doctor's office they don't do beta until I mean not not betas they don't do the ultrasound until you have a heartbeat, which is understandable. Um. So, I don't know, guys. I'm just really excited. I don't care. As long as the baby is healthy, I'm super excited. We're about to have another baby or babies. My husband said that if it's twins, he'll be happy. But if it's if both of them are girls, he said he's done. Because too many women in the house. <laughs> so, hopefully at least one is a boy. Because you all know I want five kids. So, we'll see how that goes. Hopefully, hopefully. Hopefully, hopefully we can get a boy so we can keep going. Um, but yeah, those are my numbers. So you guys got my symptoms and my numbers. My beta number is 653. And I'm about to go eat. Because I am starving. Hopefully I can get used to this webcam and start making these little pretty things. I'm up half time Friday. Y'all see I'm already busy. So, I'll talk to you later.